Finally, we have been waiting for this show for so long. I thought it was going to end up happening after the Challenge 40. Thankfully, it's not. The Challenge All-Stars 4, we have been waiting for. The cast is announced. The trailer is out, and we are excited. So let's talk about it. All right, the challenge uh, 39 on MTV took you on a journey. It was the battle of who's going to be the next big champion. Of course, Emmanuel and Norris, they had their moments, Colleen. And season 39, um, maybe not have, maybe not have been the most exciting season, but 39, I think, is going to get you ready for season 40. Could you believe 40 seasons of the challenge, which is the original flagship of the show? The show has grown in so many ways. The challenge that was on CBS... And of course, the Challenge All-Stars, which is what we're going to talk about today. So we've all known that the Challenge All-Stars 4 was filmed some time ago, but like it was not coming. Like what was the holdup? And then the other thing that gets me about Paramount Plus, because the Challenge All-Stars gets featured on Paramount Plus. The thing that really gets me is, was there an issue with Paramount Plus and the real world homecoming? Because they did the New York season the Los Angeles season. So that would be season one and two. And then they skipped again, skipped ahead to season nine, which was new Orleans. In my opinion, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't have the numbers, but I feel like really a big fan base and a, a huge uh, want for that type of uh, sh series was, was the, the real world homecomings, those three seasons, but it, it never went anywhere. So I don't know if that's any, correlation to the holdup that we sort of saw with the challenge all-stars four it's just questions i don't know those answers and i'm like watching with a close eye a little side eye i'm like paramount plus what is going on um we need to talk because these are the shows i love okay so if you love the regular challenge the mtv flagship wonderful and i do too i don't watch it all the time sometimes some of the cast members are a little to like, oh, this person is uh, on the show because they're like a TikTok sensation or a viral sensation or a YouTube short sensation or reels or whatever. Um, that's why, and, and that's fine, but that is why the Challenge All Stars is my my era. My they are they are the experiences that I remember because so many of them are from the real world and the road rules world. I think on this new one, season four, there's only maybe one or two cast members that didn't originate from the real world or the road rules. Um, so already that's something that's exciting. And that's the question to you too. What makes you excited about the challenge all-stars and how does it differ from the regular challenge? With that being said, we are excited about season 40. You know, TJ and his final, they are going to pull out all the stops. Like, it's going to be amazing, but right now we have to wait. So let's go into Challenge All-Stars. My question um, is, is that, like, what is it about the show? So there's so many different things about it. For one, like I say, it is the age bracket. That really does it for me because it gets me very excited. I'm like, I'm, I watched the real world in 1992, 93, 94. And I remember when Road Rules started and I remember, oh, remember Road Rules? Mark Long originally was a potential fill-in guest for when Puck left on Real World San Francisco. Mark was one, remember it became Joe. Uh, Mark, not auditioned, but Mark was tr had tried out. So before Mark did Road Rules, Mark did, Mark Long, he did Real World San Francisco. Anyways, and that's what it is. Real world challenge is more than nostalgia. I feel like there should be other words to describe it, but in a nutshell, that's what it is. And I love to see these cast members that you fell in love with all those years ago and like where they're at with their lives. And some of them maybe played villains on the show originally while they were in their mid twenties or whatever. And now they're like 45 year olds. You know, I think Steve is like, I mean, some of these cast members are upwards towards 60 years old and they're still competing. And that's exciting for us to watch. Um, and the, the, the challenges, I believe, are modified because <laughs> you can't have this batch of Challenge All-Stars do what the Challenge uh, flagship MTV version does, just based on physically. And also, do you remember the challenge? Um, it originated and the, the, the challenges were like, oh, go redecorate that room <laughs> or something like that. Or go pick up this... Uh, 
a, a, a wheelbarrow of of, of rocks and go take it to the other side. And who could do it faster? And here's tug of war. Like the the, the challenges were not what they have become. Um, and of course, there's been different versions of the show's host. Obviously, TJ Lavin has been the biggest. Um, and it's really become his show. Uh, and, and obviously, we went through a huge, huge, huge moment um, within um, a scare that he had had. Um, and just to even see him come back from that is, is, is quite amazing. I originally thought... I think Mark Long maybe would have been a name I would have threw out. I originally thought Challenge All Stars should have a different host just to give it a different feeling, but I I I go, I go back on that now because TJ Lavin really does work. So what we'll do today really is just get excited about the trailer. Okay, so we're here. It's 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 coming. Challenge All Stars four finally, and just kind of look through the cast and see who we like. Are we excited about it? Et cetera, et cetera. I will tell you if you didn't watch the Challenge All Stars season one, two, and three, and you go back and you need like a companion recap, <laughs> I do have one. It's called Another Random Recap. I do that with my brother who loves the challenge a thousand percent more than me. I mean, I love it, but like my brother is very smart when it comes to that type of stuff. He loves sports. So it's kind of like, what does Bill Simmons always say? The challenge is like the sixth sport. I watch it because I'm like, ooh, that was fun. that Or that was funny. Or that was competitive. Like, I just, I watch it a little differently. Uh, my brother's the other side of that. He's like very strategic. And um, so we do have a series called Another Random Recap. You can find um, at randomlyronniejr.com if you happen to go back and want to watch and then need that companion conversation. Was there a lot of arguing? There's a lot of getting along, but there's a lot of arguing too. No. Uh, and Challenge All Stars 4, I imagine um, more of the same type of a recap. Absolutely. Okay. So we're going to look at the cast members and just say like what we feel, yay or nay. Are we excited about this person coming back? Um, and that's it. And that will be the episode. And it just gives us a moment to be nice and excited about this series because it really is, as Bill Simmons says, the sixth sport, but it's also a way for you to go back to like, dang, I remember when Real World 10 was out, or I remember when Real World 1 was out, and I remember when, you know, like those memories are very much that MTV generation that is very relatable. Okay, so we'll start uh, looking at the cast. All right, here we go. Challenge All Stars season four. I'm so excited about this. Uh, MTV, Paramount Plus, whoever is a uh, in charge here, give us season five and six and seven. This show does not need to stop. Another reason why I like the show is the soundtrack, okay? The soundtrack, the score of this particular show, the Challenge All-Stars, they go to those 80s songs that I love, 90s songs that I love so much. That's something that is not talked about enough, but it is different. You do not get that on MTV's The Challenge or The Challenge CBS. The Challenge All-Stars and whoever is the music coordinator, uh, are some that is solid. <laughs> okay, so here's the cast for Challenge All-Stars 4, and uh, Paramount Plus is where you'll be able to see this, but let's just kind of break everyone down. So um, Ace, Ace originally from the Paris season. Ace was nobody that was really on my radar in terms of Challenge All-Stars all these years ago. I think he's even stated in interviews that like, he was on a season Paris with, with CT and Leah and Christina and Mallory and Simon and uh, Adam. But it wasn't really a show that went anywhere. Um, doesn't really have a huge fan base. It doesn't really get brought up a lot in terms of uh, great real world seasons, which is funny because um, London also doesn't get brought up that much. But London, I had rewatched when Paramount, uh, when Paramount Plus started. I rewatched London and I was like, no, this is actually really good. I do realize when London originally aired, it didn't do that well, but it was a good season. I cannot say that Paris was that wonderful of a season. Um, side note, I shouldn't do a side note. I should get right to the point. But let me say Chicago, still one of my favorite seasons. Almost impossible to find. It's not on Paramount Plus and I want to watch it. Oh, Carol was so great. She never did a real world uh, challenge. Okay, back to Ace. So why I mentioned all that with Ace and Paris is because I believe it's been noted that like Ace sort of felt like his season was maybe not in these words, but like it was like more of a lackluster season. And Ace may have possibly been more inclined to being like on a Vegas season where it was just all the excitement. So I feel like sometimes it's not that you're a, 
uncompelling cast member, you just don't have a supportive cast to play with and make magic with. And he probably would have fit more on Vegas. Now, Vegas and, and Paris becoming so close in proximity, sometimes one show goes so far this, this way that the next time Buna Murray or MTV or whoever is making these decisions will sort of want the show to go in a complete different direction for whatever reason. Um, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do the exact same thing which is why some shows are repetitive. But nonetheless, Ace just wasn't properly casted, uh, cast on his show. Uh, Paris, um, you know, CT, of course, has become a legend within um, this challenge world. But, you know, the show itself, um, I believe CT stated that, like, you know, the, the where they were filming the house was quite far from the city and stuff like that always matters. I always mention that with San Diego, the first San Diego, though they had their problems, uh, it was a good season. Um, but the second San Diego, they filmed so far away. And there's just something about not being in the mix. I know there's like logistical issues with like you can't have the real world house like all in the mix. But you can't have it like an hour and a half away when people get <laughs> when the alcohol that you were drinking starts to go away. Like you need that excitement to sort of spill over into the house to have these epic moments. Uh but that's just when I, what I've always thought is the houses are very important. It's not the visual, it's the location. It, it, it adds to a lot. I mean, remember the St. Thomas house? That was beautiful. Like, it just, I don't know. So anyways, all I will say with Ace is I never expected to be so excited about Ace. But b b based on, you know, Paris, it didn't really work. He probably should have been better on a Vegas season. But when he came back for Challenge All-Stars... I thought it was okay. So that's my note. It was the longest way to get to it, but that was my note. Um, okay, Adam Larson, he did three challenges. He does have one win, but kind of unmemorable in the challenge world, um, as Wendy Williams used to say. How you doing? Um, but <laughs> he, Adam, you just, he's a tough nut to crack, right? We don't really get it. We're not excited about him, but, you know, obviously time has passed. Maybe there's something amazing there. Um, he didn't compete uh, for all these years since 2005 in the Gauntlet 2. So this is going to be uh, what's good about it is even the cast members that you're not excited about. Sometimes the where, what have you been up to? Where have you been? Where you know, how different are you from the last time we saw you on, in this case, the Gauntlet? That does become exciting. I don't know if it's gives gives enough to be a great cast member for the challenge all stars but like it still brings interest so for that we will be excited okay avery you know avery there's like a hundred different things we could talk about with avery but i always just think about how tough she was when she was in her season and she was dating the guy she was dating and they had the little cute dog and then she had the problems with the other cast member and avery was not to be messed with <laughs> she she was a little bit smaller in size but um you know she had she had those hands um avery will be fun i don't know too much about her she's nobody that i necessarily follow on social media but i feel like she's physically fit and, uh, you know, age wise, she's not one of the older cast members. So I feel like she's got a lot of stamina and and uh, excitement on her side. But we should see. We shall see. We don't know uh, what Avery is going to bring to the table, but I'm very much interested to see her. All right. Ayana. Where did Ayana start from? She was road rules. Was she the um, the semester at sea? I think she was. OK, Ayana, famously. I slept in my jersey <laughs> and Ayana. Now, this isn't the most epic challenge moment in terms of like tenacity and like, you know, but she did have a compassionate moment in terms of she competed and, of course, dusted Leah. No, no knock to Leah from Paris. But it was a moment of the, the cast coming together. And Ayana was the other cast member who, of course, completed the um, gauntlet style. I don't know what you would call it at that time. Um, the elimination. Uh, and then when she finished it, she made sure that she went back and helped Leah. And it was it was one of those, again, not big challenge moments for tenacity, but a big challenge moment for like, it's a different show. The Challenge All-Stars is not the challenge on MTV where it's like, we just got to push through everything. And it's, we're all like in premier shape. A lot of these cast members, you know, my back hurts, <laughs> you know, I got a knee problem. You know, people are 45, 55, 60. No, you know, so it's a, it's a thing of, you just want 
the cast members to complete the mission or the elimination. And for Leah, she was struggling and Ayana went to go help her. And it really was a beautiful moment. It's kind of like you ever see the, um, the, like, like a marathon and you know that, you know, it'll be damn near eight, nine, 10 o'clock at night. And there's still people who for better or worse, they're crossing the finish line, but they, you know, they stopped, they're walking. Like it's, it's really, you still commend them for the, 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 showing up. And Ayana was very instrumental at telling Leah, you are not giving up. Like you're going to get this done, even though Ayana already won. So Ayana gives a lot of that. She gives a lot of, I slept in my uniform. She gives just a lot of heart. So I think um, we're very excited to see Ayana. Okay. Brad is back on Challenge All-Stars. He's always fun. You think of the Brad moment. You think of Brad with uh, Derek and the... <laughs> He's like a he's like a wrestler, you know. Mike the Miz became the wrestler, but I feel like Brad could have been the wrestler. Uh, but but Brad has always been wonderful, you know. If you loved original San Diego, uh, free Brad. Brad has always been exciting. His journey with the challenge has not been as victorious as I would have thought. But um, something about seeing him compete at this older age um, and him still getting so close to a lot of success, but not fully being as successful as you would have thought. It, it's 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 cool to see. And I know that he does this, you know, um, to really inspire others and um, really show up for himself. So Brad will be a fun watch. San Diego original season still to this day, one of the better seasons. OK, so next we have Brandon Nelson. Um, he's competed in about five challenges. He's originally from a fresh meat challenge, which is funny. The fresh meats, which were so exciting and such a good way to introduce new cast members to the show because at that time the challenge was always real world versus road rules then it became the challenge and in order to get new cast members you had to get the fresh meat cast but it's funny because so much me and my brother were actually just talking about this recently so many of though that timeline always throws me off because you feel like you remember every challenge you know we're at season 39 going into 40 now but for some reason the fresh meats like they almost like where came out of nowhere <laughs> and they produced some really wonderful people. You know, Cara Maria is a, a, a fresh meat uh, competitor. Um, DM was a fresh meat competitor. Um, but so you sometimes forget where and when, and then all of a sudden you're just like, Oh, okay. For Brandon, five challenges, but you don't really remember the origins of him coming to the show, but that's where he came from was the fresh meat. Um, don't know a ton about him, but excited to see the next part of uh, his journey. Cara Maria. Um, in love with Polly, Polly from Big Brother, Cody's brother. Um, she is exciting to me. She's fresh meat, okay, as we were talking about. But also, that was her original season. But also, one thing that MTV did really well is they created a series called The Challenge Home Turf, where they go to the cast members and kind of do a timeline of all their successes and setbacks within the challenge, but also like where their lives were before and what they're working on creatively, you know, like her, I believe. Cara Marie, I believe she owns a gym or stuff of that nature. Um, and they've covered like CT, Tori, um, Darrell. Like, I think this is the content that we enjoy because these challenge cast members have become so familiar that, you know, you see them only in the space of the challenge, which sometimes doesn't show the best of them. So to see a little bit more and to see what they're what they're fighting for or why they come into the house, the, the challenge house and why they want to win so badly and what they want to do with the money. It's, it's exciting to me and watching uh, Cara Maria's. It was great because you do forget that she started off as a cast member. That was like, you know, she was, she was this route. And then like, she went a whole different route later on and became a different challenge cast member. She's won. She won with her cousin. She won on her own. Um, and she dated and, and she fell in love. She fell out of love. And then of course the, the Polly and, and uh, her situation now seems to be where everything is at, but no, she's a really fun watch. She's went through it all. She's went through it all. Laurel, you know, getting along with Laurel, not getting along with Laurel. Um, there's many sides to Cara Maria, which I sort of knew, but kind of forgot up until watching the series the challenge home turf whoever created that wonderful i think it was really really good so this is a, a no-brainer cast member she's always going to be compelling tv and it's been a little while because her and Polly kind of stepped away for a while i know Polly came back um on a previous season um but 
we have not seen her in a little bit. So I, I am very much excited to see where and how she does competitively in this All-Stars cast. Oh, Derek Chavez, uh, originally from, I believe it was the Cancun season, good friends with um, Janae from the beginning. And even when Janae kind of, I mean, she did all the challenges years ago, but in Challenge All-Stars, she sort of became a different version of herself and she kept winning, which is exciting. So with him, Derek, I mean, Derek, I follow on Instagram. I think he is such a lovable character. I don't know that he's ever done so good in terms of succeeding on this show. But again, that's what's the beauty of this show is you have somebody, um, and this is not counting out anybody, but I don't remember Janae being so strong in the original challenge, but something about the challenge all-stars, it's a different show. The circumstances are different. The timing is different. The the dedication is different. And sometimes you could have a, a different story, you know, completely rewrite your success on the challenge. So Derek, I don't know that he's ever really given that much in terms of the challenge, but I think he is good at his social game. I think he's very likable. And I got a lot of like positive optimism for him succeeding in the show. Okay, now we're talking. I like all the cast members I just mentioned, okay? Love them all. But let me tell you, if it were me and I was on the casting team, the older, the better. And I'm not saying Flora is older, <laughs> but the people that come from the earlier seasons, that's what I want to see. If you have a back spasm while you're competing, I want to see that. <laughs> not literally. We obviously want the challenge contestants to be physically fit and ambitious. But, oh, like, remember? Do you remember when Darrell, Darrell, who was like, such a force. He won four seasons in a row. And then Darrell went up against uh, Jordan and it was like a long period of time. And then all of a sudden Darrell, who was like such a superstar, he was like, oh my God, my back. <laughs> I'm not saying we got to watch a show full of cast members that represent those times of like Leah, where she didn't necessarily push through and make it. I'm not saying that either, but it's nice to have the duality between, between badass and I can't run like I used to. <laughs> Badass and, uh, <laughs> you know, I've got shin splints now. You know, I think that's fun for us to watch. Now, I could be wrong. Flora, for all these years, she could have been the most tenacious cast member. She could have been the cast member that has been continuously in the gym and we just haven't seen her. But even with that being said, I'm excited to see what Flora has been up to. So yeah, I mean, casting the more obvious choices, Cara Maria, um, Brad, uh, Ace even, it all makes sense to cast the more challenge-like contestants. But I think getting Flora from Real World Miami, that was in the 90s. <laughs> she came back to do some challenges, but she's not a challenge contestant per se. I'm just saying season five, and I'm sure the people who like the challenge for the tenacity, they're going to be like, no, no, we need like nothing but the strongest players. And I'm not saying Flora is not, but for me, I'm like, yeah, sprinkle in some of those, uh, on my podcast. In fact, I interviewed John, John from real world, uh, Venice, Los Angeles. And I know he wants to do the show, by the way, he wants to do the show yet get that caliber of cast member. I mean, I want, the closer you are to 60 years old, I want to watch you on the TV, challenging, competing. <laughs> but again, I don't know that Flora is that age, but to be able to go back into that world of when we used to be able to watch the real world Miami and reality TV didn't even exist other than that show, you know, like that is exciting to me. So Flora, will she go all the way? I mean, we don't know. But is Flora an exciting uh, window into real world Miami? You know, when they were doing the real world homecomings, I always thought Miami would be a good choice. Again, we don't know why the real world homecomings have stopped because everybody enjoyed it. That's neither here nor there. I'm getting a little too excited about real world Miami and Flora. I don't think she'll go that far, but I'm excited to watch her. All right, Janelle from Key West originally. The Key West uh, real world season was fantastic. That's where we met Johnny Bananas. Um, Janelle did a All-Stars very recent, went very far. And I believe she also talked about a little bit of funny business that went on with the production um, in terms of, you know, I, I think this was the season that MJ and Janae, I believe they were the victorious um, team at that time. Nonetheless, um, you know, sometimes things just don't go the right way and you could you could have 
an opinion for sure. I'm just glad they're giving her another shot to go in there and win because she's nobody that I necessarily thought that highly of in terms of challenge contestants. And boy, was I wrong, which is great. I think that's a good thing. Have I always liked her? Yes. She was good on Key West. Um, never really saw her as like a challenge contestant. So it's nice to see that in this particular type of challenge, the all-stars where people are a little bit older, it's, it's a little further off from their original series. I think it is good. So I'm excited to see what Janelle will bring to the table. Yeah. So overall, Janelle is really good. Um, she's from the Bay Area in terms of, I believe she also um, had already knew Darrell going into the show as well. And so Darrell is such a iconic challenge contestant. Um, oh, you know, another fun fact about Janelle. Remember when Janelle during the real world run, remember when she was dating one of the, was she dating one of the real world Hollywood cast members? She came back, remember for the reunion. Um, yeah. So Janelle's Janelle's story. Um, and I believe she's super duper happy and living her life and she's married with kids and all these things. Um, but I feel like with Janelle, you never know what you're going to get. That's what I like about her. She's authentic. She speaks her mind. And again, being brought back to the show, she's like, I'm going to get that win that I so closely got last time. So I'm like, I'm kind of into it. Okay, Jasmine, originally from the Cancun season, will be an ally to Derek, of course, because they were on the same season. Uh, she she is the spitfire. She is the, she's always been that. Um, challenge, she tells a great story. Um, we don't necessarily know how she does physically with the challenges, but you know, for the sake of great entertainment, uh, Jasmine has always been really good for that. All right, so Jay Mitchell, um, real world San Francisco, the explosion, right? The when they had the exes there, and his ex was Jenna. Jenna became part of the challenge. Did she? Ha didn't her and Zach? You know, like so. Jenna is, is the way that season worked on the MTV Real World. This was right before the show started going off the rails and not becoming interesting, probably because they had these silly concepts. But the concept was the seven or eight cast members would come in and while they went on a vacation, all of their exes came in the house too. But by that time people were already hooking up and the ex was in the house. Like it just for real world, it didn't really work. Anyways, Jay was a cast member. He had all this optimism. I thought he would be kind of good on these shows, but he was the quitter. He quit on the show. Wasn't he one of the people, not the only, because I think there was the other guy who said, I miss my girlfriend. I got to go home because I miss my girlfriend. And TJ's like, I'll see you never. TJ doesn't like a quitter on this show. TJ is very okay with you failing miserably and it just not really working, but you still went at it and you completed the mission or the assignment and Jay sort of didn't and TJ was not happy. So we really have not seen Jay at all. We've seen Jenna a hundred times, but Jay, am I right about that? Or is my timeline wrong? Either way, I wonder what TJ what his energy is going to be, because that is one thing. TJ seems to be such a fair guy in terms of hosting the show, but he does not like quitters. <laughs> he doesn't like quitters. And it's a good thing because it kind of applies into your regular life too. When you, when you as a person have your own set of struggles or challenges, you, you know, just push through, just get, let's get, we got to get it finished. And Jay was not that guy at that time. And from that, we never saw him come back to the challenge. I think he could have done wonderfully on the challenges down the road. Oh, so Jay, I, I'll just say I'm not judging Jay per se, <laughs> but Jay has something to prove. He has something to prove and he has to rewrite that error, you know, in terms of being a quitter. Unless I got the timeline wrong. Did I get it wrong? I don't know. I can't be perfect all the time. 99.9% .9 of the time. I'm perfect. <laughs> All right. So Cam, Cam is back. Now, Cam, Leroy, you know, this is going to be exciting. But Cam, as I was saying earlier, one of the only cast members to not be uh, originally from the real world or the road rules, even talking about Brandon, Brandon was from Fresh Meat, which is still a challenge, uh, you know, type show. Cam, I believe, came from like, are you the one? She did wonderfully. She showed up. There was a season that she got voted in all the time. She was a fighter. She did well on the show. And then life changed. And her and Leroy, and I believe they've been in a really good place. You know, Leroy was on the show for so many years. Uh, and they kind of stepped away and started life together. And that's exciting. And it's nice to see the Challenge All-Stars is the perfect vehicle to see Cam back in action. All right. When I go back and look at uh, Real Worlds and Road Rules, I mostly remember Real Worlds season by season by season by season. 
Road rules, I don't as much. Kefla was from the road rules. Now, I will tell you, I do like this because I said when I mentioned Flora, I like when they get a cast member from such a long time ago. Kefla has not performed, uh, competed on this show since, I mean, this is the stat. I, it doesn't even seem right. Since 1999, I'm all for it. I am all for bringing cast members we have not seen in a long time. And then at that point, it's the test of time. Do you still got it? Do you, you know, did you ever have it? <laughs> or do you show up and become such a dominant force and get back into this challenge world? The show is such a big show. Why would you not want to compete for the money? Why wouldn't you want to do the challenge? Like it's exciting. So while I don't remember a ton of his um, moments on the road rules, and I certainly can't really track back to 1999, I think is the last time he competed, which is back then it was called Real World Road Rules Challenge. That was it. <laughs> Remember those early seasons? Um, that's kind of how long ago we had seen him competing. So, you know, the door is open to, you know, create whatever kind of success he wants to create. So it should be exciting to watch. And Laurel is back in action. Laurel is always a casting success. She never, she never not creates moments. She's a physical threat in a good way. She's super tenacious. She's also really vulnerable to gets in arguments. Her and Kara Maria, they've always had their on again, off again friendship. And then um, she's also had like romances, but then the one that's been the most up and down as way of X on the beach, because they did X on the beach together was um, who was our Staten Island girl from the real world Chicago second season, not the first Chicago, the second one, Nicole, um, when they did X on the beach together, Laurel um, really, you know, uh, <laughs> she had all the emotions. So Laurel's good because she's not just a badass. She's a badass that like also cries. <laughs> I will say that Laurel isn't as exciting entertaining wise to me as another really tenacious girl, uh, tenacious female cast member. I always rather see Emily, Emily Real World DC. And I always say Real World DC, very underrated. I always rather see Emily you know, for the sake of casting, um, Laurel just makes more sense. All those little storylines and, you know, moments. But if it were me, I'd rather see uh, a badass like Emily over equally or, you know, if not more physically fit, uh, tenacious uh, Laurel. But Laurel's cool. Laurel's cool. She's There's a lot you get with her. Leroy is back. Leroy's back. That's amazing. There's no, even nothing to be said. He was from the second Vegas season. He has been a, 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 one of the best friends with Johnny Banana. So during that run, Johnny and Leroy, I mean, he is challenge uh, gold in terms of like, he, you know, you're never going to have a bad season with Leroy on it. It'll be interesting because again, Leroy stepped away or quote unquote retired from the challenge which would be the MTV version, the slightly younger version. And now coming back to All Stars with Cam, I'm like, I'm all in. I got the popcorn. This is good. All right. So Nicole, I just mentioned Nicole, our Staten Island. Was she a paramedics or something like that? Um, she's just, she's just, <laughs> I don't necessarily like, like her on the show, but just to get things going and to get Laurel filling all the fills, <laughs> good and bad, I guess Nicole's great for the show. So it'll be interesting to see how she does. I don't necessarily see her going all the way, but, you know, she is still a fighter. Um, and the Challenge All-Stars might be the perfect vehicle for her to uh, get that victory. Okay, bringing out the heavy hitters, Rachel. Rachel was on that season with Darrell from the Road Rules. That was one of those seasons that Road Rules, because Road Rules, in my opinion, not even a bad thing. Real world was always like the show. Road rules was more interesting because it was competitive and they're not competitive, but their missions, let's say, and their travel. That was interesting. But the cast members weren't usually as interesting as the real world cast members. And no one said this, but it was kind of unspoken that if you were a real worlder, you kind of were like more interesting personality wise. Well, that was not the case. The season with Darrell and the season with Rachel. Remember, they hooked up a little bit. Um, I mean, Ra Rachel has not been on the show for a while. So I'm like really so excited to see more about her life. And we did see, oh, and remember she hooked up with Veronica too? Or we think we, we these timelines are getting difficult. <laughs> but nonetheless, Rachel, such a heavy hitter, such a badass. Um, definitely somebody to take note of. And the last time we really saw her is when MTV created a fitness channel called the, the, the Real World Challenge Fitness 
whatever. And she was at the helm of it as a fitness uh, trainer or instructor. I think it was good. Seeing Rachel leave the show for those times sucked because she was so good for the show. But sometimes you do have to like shape, th shift things up and change things up in order to like have the longevity and the sustainability in your career. And so it feels like physical fitness and personal trainer is like a lot of her life. And it was perfect to see her on, the, it was like a, I believe it was like a YouTube series, the challenge fitness workout plan or something like that. She was at the helm. That's the last time we saw her. So it was a couple, couple of years ago. This is perfect for her to come back now. This is perfect. I can't wait to see uh, her light it up. And now taking a look at Ryan, who was also a fresh meat contestant. You know, he came by way of, we didn't even know this at the time, but by way of Shane, remember Shane from Road Rules? So we didn't even know the knowings at the time. Um, he's very good friends with Derek, I believe. So there is an alliance thing there, you know, and Derek is really close with Jasmine. So it is one of those things that even the most competitive people, that's a way to win for sure. But the alliances that are sort of built in, you know, that could be something very valuable too. And Ryan seems like somebody, I think he's competed about six times and I've, nobody here has anything to prove, but people don't go on the show and not want to win that money and to finally get that big title. So I think Ryan has a lot of ambition going into the show and he's a fun watch so i'm into it all right we got steve from the road rules steve is uh one of the older cast members and while i wasn't sure the last time he appeared on a challenge all stars i was interested i was like okay he's cool i don't know that he like sometimes i feel like he doesn't strategize the game the way the game should be strategized because the game has changed so much he kind of like plays it the way you would play it when he was on his original seasons coming off the road rules Nonetheless, to each their own, do what you do. Steve is just definitely cut from a different cloth. Again, he's maybe the oldest cast member. I'm not sure of that, but I think he might be very close to one of the oldest cast members. And I listen, I give anybody credit who goes on this show, puts their all into it, and is, you know, physical fitness gets more difficult as we age. And he's not given up, and he's a fighter, and I think he's a really fun cast member. Remember when he made fun of Derek? <laughs> So nonchalantly, he's just uh, a little bit of a wild card in a really good way. So TV wise uh, and entertainment wise, I'm excited about Steve. I don't know that he plays the game in that almost like, I don't want to say manipulative, but that strategic way that a lot of the cast members do, which is okay, but the game has changed. And this is not real world road rules challenge, Steve. This is a different ball game and the money is at stake and TJ wants you at the finals. So you got to kind of, step it up but he's still cool and i'm i'm glad that they brought him back i mean why not all right our guy cyrus is back in the mix uh cyrus was so kind to do my um podcast when it was uh originating obviously i come from radio for like darn a hundred years it feels like but the point is when you start a project um not it's not as easy to get uh certain interviews and cyrus uh was was not only very good with the interview but he um he said a lot of things <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, say it like you mean it. Uh, tell us what you really think. Cyrus uh, it has always been a fun cast member. Do you remember when Cyrus and TJ, this was TJ's first season. So TJ wasn't the legend that he now has become on the show. Cyrus and TJ were like, bust a move. Well, you bust a move. <laughs> like they, they almost had a little moment. Um, but Cyrus has been fun. You know, to me, one of the things that I lock into in terms of my own, like gaining weight, losing weight and all these things. And all of us who get a little older, nobody's a spring chicken anymore. And we have to focus on, you know, being healthy. And Cyrus has lost so much weight. He's a fun guy in general. His Boston season was amazing, right? But also he's been like an event planner, party planner, party promoter, or something of that nature for all these years. Cyrus is big. He shows up big. He deserves the success that he's gotten with the show. But And I'm really ready for him to maybe even take the title on the Challenge All-Stars 4. He is that good. But again, he might be a little bit of a... Um, people will look out for him, uh, and, you know, or he, like a target in some ways because of the success and because of how much he brings to the table. But hopefully, you know, that's the thing about the game. It's not the best competitive. It's a little bit like strategy and who are you aligned with and the competitions at the right time, right place, right time. By all means, Cyrus is really good at this TV show. Um, he famously has a moment when he was doing the MTV circuit where um, while he was doing um, some coverage, 
Kobe Bryant came to one of the things he was filming. So he actually, you know, at the end of the day, he has a moment of filming um, some MTV coverage for uh, with with Kobe Bryant. I mean, not any not many people could say that they have that experience. So Cyrus comes with a lot. All right, Tina Barta is back. You know, Tina, Tina, Tina. You just, I would say you never know what you're going to get with Tina. Tanya. No, uh, but you do know what you're going to get with Tina. Tina is outspoken. She, last time she appeared on the Challenge All-Stars, I believe she was trying to not go into a space of, uh, I mean, her words like old Tina, which would have been somebody who flew off the handle. She was really trying to evolve. So I think with Tina, that's what we look at. We look at like who she is today versus who she has always been. Um, she, like I said, you never know what you're going to get, but with Tina, you kind of do know what you're going to get. Um, wasn't really sure she'd come back to the challenge so soon, but here we go. Challenge All-Stars 4. She, uh, she will make a mark for sure. Okay, you know, this is a good cast member. I had actually been wondering, where's Tony been? Because Tony did really, I well, did Tony do really well? Let's talk. Did Tony do really well or did he have the potential to do really well? And he he didn't do really well. Um, he When I watched the challenge, I'm sorry, the real world Chicago, I always, and he did the challenge initially, I thought he was like potentially going to be one of the, you know, in that mix, so to speak. And he was, but I also, I'm having trouble. Let me look at my notes real quick. I'm having trouble. Okay. He's done six challenges. Final reckoning in 2018 was the last time he appeared. I'm having, I'm not having trouble finding moments of him being like fun and, and in the mix with the Johnny bananas and Leroy and who Fessy, Josh, whatever. I feel like he's, maybe that was a different time period, but the point is he definitely was like in the mix, but I can't really come up with a ton of really like successful moments with the show. That is not a bad thing. Um, so with that being said, he is somebody that has been on my mind in terms of like, where has he been? What's new with Tony from real world Chicago second season? Um, I had been wondering, so it'll be exciting to see him back in action. All right. Tyree from real world was a Denver. I believe the only reason I know about that season, cause it really wasn't that great of a season, but, and can somebody get the word out? Where is, freaking our favorite our raiderette um jen jen she came through the door on these real world road rules challenges uh of that time and she was in all these seasons jen was remember she was the 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 raiderette and she did the real world denver uh who was on that season davis um callie and, and tyree was was a cast member on that show so i don't know a ton about tyree uh, it has been a very long time. Um, Tyree's last appearance on the show was in 2013. So we don't know much about him. So this will be a little bit of a wild card on who he aligns with and how he performs. But either way, it should be a little exciting. And last but not least, Veronica Portillo. Remember, she did the original Road Rule season. Not the original, but like an early season with Yes. Remember, Yes came back for the first challenge, All-Stars, and he won. Uh, and he's flourishing as usual. Uh, what's different about uh, Veronica is Veronica was at one time, in my opinion, Veronica was the challenge. Like way before it was like the Johnny Bananas era of the challenge, Veronica had done, now check this out, 13 seasons. Veronica has done 13 seasons, only three wins. There was an era where she just did, did season after season after season. And really a word to the wise, it really isn't about the... I mean, the longevity does count, but remember there was a moment where she was so in the mix because she'd done 13 seasons in total, but she was so in the mix that she took a couple seasons away. And when she came back, like she couldn't get the votes to line up with her, not because she was bad or anything like that. Well, maybe some of the cast members were younger and more agile or whatever, but it was more the alliances are a big thing in the show now. So she's an interesting character because Veronica Portillo is the challenge. I mean, in terms of the earlier stages of the challenge. And when you take some time away or MTV doesn't bring you back or whatever the case, things change. You know, that would even be like Johnny Bananas currently. He was the guy, but he's been away. And so other people kind of rise to the occasion. Um, Veronica's still a fun watch. She's got great personality too. She's got history with so many cast members on this series already. So yeah, I think it's going to be uh, quite interesting to see where she lands, um, the newness within her own personal life, um, and who she's still friends with and who we think she's friends with, but 
Maybe not anymore. Uh, will she win? I don't know. But 13 times competing on the challenge. Hats off to her. Could you imagine 13 times going into the show as a competitor, 13 times going into the show, you know, having uh, personal friendships and relationships on, you know, in the cast and, you know, aiming to win. I believe she won about three times in total. So it's, it's a lot and it's being filmed. And I give anyone who's shown up that many times uh, a ton of credit. So Veronica Portillo, she's uh, she's definitely a superstar in this show, just in general. And this is what the Challenge All-Stars is all about. All right, so we got Variety, the Challenge All-Stars 4. It is finally here. Uh, my big question to you is who do you think is going to win the show? Who are good alliances? Who is the most physically fit and competitive? And also, do we want and what can we do? Do we got to like make a phone call ring to Paramount Plus and say, can you give us Challenge All-Stars 5? We're already ready. And for that as a matter of fact, we should be thinking about casting for that season. Because in my mind, the buzz and the hype is happening now. You've got Challenge MTV flagship show coming up on season 40. And you got Challenge All-Stars 4, which we've been waiting for forever. That we want MTV Real World Homecoming season 4. The question is where should they go? But we also want answers as to why Paramount Plus has given us such a runaround for that. And what we would want to see on a Challenge All Stars, um, you know, a, 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 another season. I, I think this All Stars is exciting. I'm so into seeing the different cast members from yesteryear and where their lives have shaped to, to become. Um, so it's a really fun show. And I'm just glad that we can all watch it together. Like I said, I do another random recap where I break down every episode. So once you watch the episode, you can hear the recap and <laughs> we could have that conversation about the show that we just watched and we like. So that's it for now. Uh, weigh in with your opinions. And if you want to support randomly Ronnie Jr., that's me. This is how you do it. Well, hello there. Thank you for watching and supporting the show with my good friend, Randomly Ronnie Jr. Who the hell am I? Great question. Um, my name is Mark Rodriguez with Mastermind Media, and I wanted to take just a moment of your time to let you know about all the other incredible things this guy, Randomly Ronnie Jr. has going on. Um, but first, before we get into that, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, that is how he grows here on these channels. Uh, but one channel you probably don't know about is Patreon.com com forward slash randomly Ronnie Jr. where he's got a bunch more exclusive content. So please check that out. But speaking of YouTube, let's go back to YouTube for a second. He's got this hashtag randomly with Ronnie Jr. And it shows all of his stuff in his days in radio from back in the day, all the way up to present day and his new interviews, podcasts, uh, just videos across the board. So please check that out because when you think about content creators, there's millions of content creators, but there's only one randomly ronnie jr let's get back into the show all right mark yes thank you thank you thank you i agree with that um and one more little plug just because it's related to the challenge or real world in general um you want to hear me talk with uh, cyrus as i stated before it is on randomly ronnie or hashtag randomly with ronnie jr through the youtube uh, platform um or john from real world um season two, Los Angeles, the Venice Beach one. So both of those interviews are within the mix of this channel. So yeah, why don't you check that out? I'll talk to you on the next one. Junior. Mm. 